morning everyone and welcome back to Arlene's Creations. Today I am going to be showing you how I make 18 little signs. I have an order for 18 of them. There will be three different sayings between the 18 signs. So what I did first, which I did not film, was I had this these boards that um it was one two boards actually um four feet by 12 which i just cut down with my circular saw to five inches each one there's a couple of them that are like maybe four and three quarter inches but so I cut all the boards from the one big board that I got from Home Depot. And these are just called common board. So I just cut them down to the appropriate size, sanded them, rounded out the corners a little bit. And then the next step is to stain them. I am using the no pain stain gel from Dixie Bell and Espresso. And I have here some staining pads from Home Depot and roll of rags from Home Depot. So I am just putting the gel stain on and then wiping it off. Then when it dries a little bit, I have my gloves here. You don't want to get stain all over your hands. Then I'm just taking some sandpaper and a sanding block and buffing them out a little bit to make it look distressed and taking some of the stain off to bring it back down to the natural wood. So, so far I only have, oh, and I'm also staining the back. Um, I only have six done. So I am gonna show you how I stain, how I distress, and then how I will be putting the sayings on each one with a stencil. I will be creating the stencil from my Cricut machine and stenciling it on with white chalk paint. So stay tuned if you'd like to see how these, oh, my finger's in the way, sorry. I'm not on my tripod at the moment, but stay tuned if you'd like to see how these signs are gonna come out. They're gonna be gorge and I'll be back. Okay, so how I will be doing these is I have my stain pads from Home Depot. And I have my boards that have been all sanded down and wiped off with a tack cloth. And these are just going to be like stand up. This table's a little uneven. So these are not going to need um, a hanger on the back, but if they did, you would put them on after you're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of my no pain gel stain from Dixie Bell, and I'm just going to wipe it on with my stain pad. And I'm just going to do all the edges. I'm going to do around the whole entire piece. See, now if you touch it, you see the fingerprints? You don't want that, so you want to make sure you go back over it. And then what I'm going to do is just take one of these um, rags from the bag of rags from Home Depot, and I'm just going to wipe the excess off all around it. the back. Sorry if the camera's moving. I think I kind of see it shaking a little bit. Mm. Okay, 
and wipe off the excess. And now I'm going to put this to the side to start drying. I already have a whole bunch that have been done. So after I'm done, this one's already been dried. So after I'm done staining them and they dry for approximately overnight or at least 10 to 12 hours, what I do is I take a little piece of sandpaper. And this was a big sheet of sandpaper that I just cut into four even squares and so now that's the way this one is going to stand up so I'm just going to go in the corners or wherever I want to distress it I'm trying not to shake the ca camera and I'm just going to Distress it like so. Wipe off the dust. Maybe do some down here. Again, wipe off the dust so you see the look that I'm getting. Like this little part over here to distress. And you could distress it as much or as little as you want. The lady that I'm making these for who ordered them, she wants some lightly distressed and then. There's 18 all together, so she wants some very distressed, as you can see in this one, and, and in this one as well. So some of them she wants very distressed, and then the other half she wants just lightly distressed, which looks something like that. But like I said, you could do them however you want. But I think the distressing just makes it look so much nicer than just um, leaving it the dark stained wood. It gives it more character and kind of makes it more farmhousey, if you want. It makes it look like it's been outside and aged and weathered for years and years and years. So I just really love this distressed look. So I have two more boards to stain and I have about 10, no, about eight more, including the three to distress. So I'm just going to get busy with distressing the rest of them. And then I already designed one of the sayings on the Cricut machine. So I'm going to go ahead and um, print out from, from my Cricut the stencils that each one is going to have a separate, not a separate saying. There's three sayings in between the 18 signs. So there's going to be six of each saying. Now, also, I have a, um, a sanding pad here. And what you could do with this is just go over the whole front. And it kind of brings out... Oh, I'm shaking the camera again. I'm so sorry. So, after you distress it with the, with the coarse sandpaper... You can go over it with one of these sanding blocks. And they come in different grits. I got so many rags here. And then just wipe it down. And it even takes, um, where you're really not distressing it too much. It just gives it a more, um, like a matte look. Like a weathered look. However, however you want to say it. It 
brings out some of these little lines over here in the wood. So I'm just going to continue to, uh, like I said, um, paint up, stain the last two boards that I have. And then I'm going to be distressing all the ones that I already have stained. So I'll just give you a quick look. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, so you see over here, these are already distressed. These all need to be distressed, but they're all stained and totally dry. And I just stained this one, and then I have the last two to put the stain on. So by the time I'm doing, by the time I'm done distressing all of these and uh, designing the other two sayings, those will be dry, and I could do them tonight. All right, so I will be back and showing you how I will be stenciling on the sayings and how nice they're going to look when they're done. So I will be back. So if you want to see how they turn out, please stay tuned to my channel. Thank you. Okay, so the next step in making these signs, as you can see here, I have my saying, start each day with God, grace, and gratitude. So I designed this on my Cricut machine in um, Cricut Design Space, cut it out with the vinyl, and actually, I don't buy the Cricut vinyl for the machine that, like you're supposed to. I get this peel and stick, kind of like a uh, uh, sanitist. You can line drawers with this or whatever, contact paper if you want to call it, from Walmart. So much cheaper. It's like $5 a roll. And you get so much more compared to, I think it's almost $15 a roll for the real Cricut vinyl. Uh, so when you're doing stenciling, this is a great thing. But if you weren't going to do stenciling and you were actually going to cut out the vinyl words and use the vinyl words themselves, then I would recommend um, doing the, the, the real Cricut vinyl. But for stenciling, this is great. And also, I get the clear from Walmart. The same thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Peel and stick from Duck Brand. And this I get from Walmart as well. Very cheap and a ton of it on the roll. All right. So now that I have my design um, weeded out, which means that I just took out all of all of um, the positive and left the negative. And then I put that clear paper on top of it. So now I just have to position it on the sign. Try to get it as even as I can, as straight as I can, which that's my downfall actually. Let's see. I'll just stand it up and walk back and see if that looks good. Doesn't help when the table's crooked. <laughs> so, yeah, that looks good. So what I do next is I just take my scraper tool and you just want to get that really stuck to it. And then you want to peel off this contact paper, which is hard to do with gloves. And you want to make sure that everything sticks to the wood. See how when you peel it up, some of the, like that edge, uh, the little piece in the G doesn't want to stick down. See how it comes up on the paper? So you just got to keep making sure that everything there sticks. Even that little tiny dot inside, inside there, that has to stick as well. 
So this takes, you know, some bit of time. So I'm going to do this off camera so I can sit and really take my time and make sure that every little piece stays on the wood. Otherwise, when you paint it, it will not look right. So that's what you do there. And then I have some boards done already here. Then what you do is you just, I'm using chalk paint from Dixie Bell called Fluff. And I just put a little bit in my bowl with a little small sponge applicator. And you always want to dab some off first. Now, even though this one's done, I'll do a second coat, which it really doesn't need it, but just to show you. So you just want to dab straight up and down. You want to try to avoid any bleeding underneath the letters. And so once you get that all done, you let it dry completely. Chalk paint does dry very fast. Probably a half hour, that'll be good to go. And then the next step is to just peel off your stencil. Like so. Oh, I'm getting paint on the wood. I can't do this with gloves on. I gotta take these off. I'm trying to avoid getting paint all over my hands as usual. So the next thing is just to peel off your stencil, like so. And then you go in with your little tool and you take out whatever else you need to. So this one says, let go and let God. This is one of the sayings that she wanted. And then the other one says, start each day with God, grace, and gratitude. And then, what does the other one say? I can't remember. I have it over here. Hold on. Oh. The other one says, find joy in the journey. So there's three different sayings. I don't know if I can get this over here. like really stuck <laughs> and you just get all those pieces out that don't belong Like so. And then the, after all the pieces are off, then the last thing to do is just to go over it with a coat of polyurethane, if you'd like. You don't have to if you don't want to. If this was going to be going outside, I would say definitely polyurethane it. Because you can make signs for outside your home. But these are just going to be inside. And I'm thinking I might run to Home Depot and pick up some, um, you know, hooks for the back in case people don't want to just stand them up. I mean, for the most part, all of them do stand up. I tried each and every one, but it depends on the surface, I guess. So I'm just going to continue to take these few last ones out, like so. I'll show you how it looks. So I only have two more to do. Well, I have to paint this one. And then I have to still cut out two more of these stencils. 
and I just have to, um, what do you call it? Sand these two boards, cut out two more stencils, and then that's it. I'm done. I've been doing these for like four days now. In between everything else I'm doing. But they have to be delivered tomorrow. So there you go. Let go and let God. So tomorrow, so I'm going to have these all done probably within the next hour and a half or so. I have to actually just run to the bank real quick. So um, when I get back, I'll just finish up. I'll hit every single one with some polyurethane. It's a little white paint there. I just wanted to get that off. I'll hit every every single one with some polyurethane. They'll be nice and dry by tomorrow morning. And when I go to work, I have to leave here. Tomorrow I'm only working 6 to 10. So when I leave work, leave for work in the morning at like quarter after 5, I'll have them in my car. And then on my way home from work, I can meet Liz, the lady who ordered these, and drop them off to her because she needs to wrap them um, tomorrow or Saturday because I believe the golf outing, this is for her volunteers that are helping her with the fundraiser. Um, I believe it's either Sunday or Monday, so she wanted to get th this done because she has a lot of other stuff that she has to do. So there you have it. Cute little signs. Um, I am selling these to her for $5 each. So that was her budget per, um, you know, thank you gift to the 18 volunteers. So that was her budget of $5. So, I mean, if I was to sell this, you know, at a, at a market or in, if I had my own little shop or even if I put these on Etsy, on my Etsy page, which is basically a soap um platform but I could sell other stuff there it doesn't matter it's handmade you can only do handmade or vintage items on Etsy but if I was to sell this on Etsy without the shipping the shipping of course would be extra I would ask like maybe eight eight ninety nine eight fifty for it you know that would include the um the hanger on the back so yeah so they come out cute and um so I think for $5, this is a really nice thank you gift for all of her volunteers. And, uh, yeah, took a while to do it, but so that's the video. I appreciate everyone who watched. I will show you pictures of at the end of all of them done and on my table. And everyone, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, please, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Please hit that notification bell so you know when another video is coming up. I have to get back on track with my Weight Watchers and do some more Weight Watcher um, friendly food recipes. So I will be doing that, uh, getting back into the swing of that after I get back from vacation. I'm going for a weekend vacation, not tomorrow, but the following Friday. We're just going to Maryland. Uh, to my brother-in-law's house. Um, he lives right on the water. It's beautiful. He's got the boat. He's got the jet skis. So much fun when we go there. So we're just going for three days. So when I get back, then I'll start up again with my recipes and, you know, uh, doing my every Friday weigh-in at Weight Watches. So I haven't really done it in like three weeks, so I'm kind of afraid to go tomorrow, but I just might, I definitely know I gained at least three, four, five pounds back, maybe. That's what I'm thinking anyhow. But who knows? I'll probably go tomorrow. So, all right, n enough of me rambling. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll talk to you all soon. See you in the next video. Everybody have a blessed day, and bye-bye now. Take care. Okay, so all of the signs are done. And I actually love the way they came out. So here's the one that said start each day with God, grace, and gratitude. So they're all done. I'm just going to go a uh, quick throw on um, a quick coat of polyurethane. And then they'll be dried and ready to be delivered tomorrow.
Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye now.